Welcome to our news recap on AF Television. My name is Thompson. In politics, Wike restated stance amid PDP crisis. Governor Yosem Wike of River State has restated his stance amid the crisis rocking the People's Democratic Party. Wike reiterated on Wednesday that he would never accept Northern dominance in the leadership of the party while hosting PDP candidate and local government chairman from across River State, who paid him a courtesy visit at the resident in Port Accord, where he donated 24 buses to support their campaigns. In Akwaibum State, Governor Udom flags off Olympic size swimming pool project. Akwaibom State begins remodeling of Uyo Stadium Complex, fresh from the completion of new AK Township Stadium. Governor Udom Emmanuel has flagged off the construction of the first ever Olympic sized swimming pool in Akwaibom State. The facility is geared towards encouraging the state athletes to excel in swimming. It's located at Uyo Township Stadium, currently being remodeled. In Abia State, alleged killer arrested in Isikwato remanded in prison. A magistrate court in Umaya has remanded one Ugochuku Nwanaji from Alzara Imeyi in Isikwato local government in correctional center for alleged murder of two persons. Naji, who was on Tuesday paraded before the court on a two-count charge of beheading one Oyai Moses of Atangpa community in Isikwato local government area and Moses Chuku at Ezueko in Ben, the local government area on 24 September 2016 and 10 October 2016 respectively, was arrested by vigilante in his community and handed over to the Police. Ahead 2023 Guba election, Pastor Omono said agenda for support groups. The governorship candidate of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, in Akwaibum State, Pastor Omono, on Wednesday, urged members of different support groups to ensure that it is Operation 5 over 5 across different polling units. Speaking at the inaugural meeting of head of registered political support groups with Pastor Omono, he said the support for his candidacy must extend to other candidates within the PDP platform. And that was it for a recap on our today's top stories. Follow us on all our social media handles displayed on the screen and also subscribe to our YouTube channel. Visit www.afnews.ng to read more of our stories and happenings in and outside of Nigeria.